Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in the West End, Henrico County. We're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two, well, it's kind of a one and a half slash two uh, bath house, depending on how you look at it. And uh, we are here uh, at this government owned home. It's on a nice, nice, quiet street. Uh, definitely some pride of ownership uh, displayed here in this neighborhood. And this type of property is ideal if you're looking for what we call a rehab property. Uh, this house is habitable, but most buyers would probably want to go in and do some nice updates and uh, clean it up, personalize it a little bit. There is special financing available for an individual to combine the purchase price and the renovation together in one loan. It's an FHA product, and it's not a first and a second. It's just simply a first. It's a great way to handle a project like this. Uh, last night I was at a meeting of investors and uh, some of the investors there uh, have done some absolute fabulous rehabs and they're actually offered in the same price range uh, complete with granite, stainless steel, beautiful tile bathrooms. So if you're looking for something already done please let me know. A lot of those homes go quickly once they hit the market and I can actually network with those sellers ahead of time so we know what's coming on the market so you could be amongst the first people to take a look when they do hit the market. As we come into the family room, you can see we've got rose colored carpet that uh, probably should have been replaced long time ago. And we move straight into the kitchen. Got a nice large kitchen, the eat-in space there directly in front. Good natural light comes in through the back doors here and we're going to pop out of here real quick take a look at the backyard here in the back we have extensive decking actually got two tier decking here a couple of planters uh, on the rear we've got nice partial brick exterior uh, we do have a little concrete area that'd be nice for a patio and of course uh, some grass looks like they had a garden there and also a storage building that's probably towards the end of its useful life that gives you an idea of what the backyard looks like here let's go on back in and take a look at the rest uh, as you can see in the kitchen we've got 1970s vintage wallpaper which definitely needs to be replaced uh, the cabinets are somewhat dated, but of course they are functional. So depending on how much work you wanted to do yourself, or if you just simply wanted to have a contractor take care of all of it, uh, that could impact your rehab costs. But the beautiful thing is, this home will be completely transformed to your taste. Here to the left, we have a little utility room. Space here for your washer, dryer. Our electrical has already been great, upgraded. We've got uh, good service there. Door, doggy door. And they put a half bath here, which is kind of strange because you've got a nice view of your mechanicals directly across. So most people, of course, would want to come in and redo that, make it a little bit more functional. Straight across the hall, we have our downstairs bedroom. And this is a pretty conservative bedroom. This might uh, possibly be a better office or a storage room or a child's playroom. Uh, we do have a closet in this room as well. And for our downstairs, family room. We've got good natural light. Once again, we've got wine colored carpet. Uh, if I were going to do this rehab, I'd probably just go ahead and take those built-ins out and just make the carpet consistent all the way through. And this would be one big rectangular room for maximum flexibility. Okay, let's go on up and take a look at the bedroom level. I like to come into these homes and give you an idea of what's currently available in the marketplace. This home just hit uh, obviously 150 for four bedrooms in the West End is pretty attractive. Naturally, you'd have to figure in your rehab costs and uh, those could vary wildly depending on exactly what you want to do. This bathroom, here we have a couple different sections. Here we've got a door that actually goes into the tub shower area. This area here is just for, of course, the vanity and the throne. As we transition through, of course, here is our tub shower enclosure. We've got a little bit of mold and mildew that probably needs to be taken care of. 
not a big deal. And then another door, which takes us through to throne number two, vanity number two. Hair dryer does convey and into the master bedroom. So that's a unique kind of floor plan. We've got several doors and depending on which doors are closed, obviously would uh, determine the bathroom configuration. Okay, we got a ceiling fan in here as well. And that was the master. This is at the end of the house, end and the corner of the house. We've got two windows there and a mirrored closet. And then this is bedroom number four. This is probably the most conservative here on the second level. And you get some special artwork there as well, as well as the interesting sponge border. Okay, once again, this one's offered at $150,000. It is government owned. And if this isn't quite what you're looking for, give me a call. I'll run a custom search for you, send you homes that are currently on the market. And that way you know that there are no issues as far as them being short sales or, as you have probably seen on the internet, homes that are actually on the net but actually sold. My list is updated in real time. Once again, Max Williams, 402. 7788 or it can be reached on the web at richmondhouseinfo.com. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Hope you have a great day and look forward to speaking with you soon.